Hollywood's hottest couple, Boris Kojo and Nicole Ari Parker. We talked about their new talk show, their beautiful family, marriage, and how they keep it sexy. Take a look. You guys are on fire. No pressure. Ooh. <laughs> So let's talk about the new talk show. Why a talk show and why now? Whose idea was this? It was well, our idea. Yeah, it's been five years ago. Really? And we first conceptualized it for radio, but then our schedules wouldn't, you know, it didn't work out. And last year we looked at each other and we were like, hmm, I think the timing's right yeah, it's good for TV. And you know, we've been approached about reality show, but the cameras in the house with the kids, it just, <laughs> it might have been, we might not have been ready for that. Right. But. Plus, the there's that reality show curse, <laughs> exactly. and we yes. like you all together. We don't want you to. No, yeah. Ten years. Ten years. But the daytime talk show platform seemed really like we could do this. Yeah. You know, it was we could talk about like you know talk about issues you care about, mm -hmm. and bring this unique perspective. You know, the the male demographic here. We always get to talk about what we know, right? That's and then true. It's, now we get a chance to We've listen. We've been ignored, neglected. <laughs> we want to hear from and you. And I'm bringing us back. All right. Now talk. <laughs> to us about what viewers can expect. It'll be topic event driven, et cetera, et cetera, right? Yeah, well, it'll be current, current, affairs. current affairs. Current affairs, okay. And with a very, like she said, very distinctly different perspectives. Okay. We rarely agree on anything, so that's gonna be interesting. Is but that then right? we'll still have some oh, of the of health, course. wellness, beauty, fitness, fashion, how to throw a party it, on a budget. You know, it'll mm -hmm. still have the things that work about daytime TV, but. Celebrity guests, yeah. experts. We're not experts. You're not experts. People no, ask us the secret of marriage, how to keep it safe. Well, day I want to ask day. you, what's the secret of marriage? There's is it actually magic. working together? We're that holding on. That might be it. <laughs> that might be it. No, it's, it's an everyday journey, you know, yeah. you go on uh, anew, you know. You have to put effort into it every single day, baby It's that steps. and everything your grandmother told you, right? Really? Like cook. what? I need the advice. You need food, okay? Food. So you have to cook for him. If I want something. If you want something, what's <laughs> the favorite meal? Uh, anything German, anything but the whole cooked. the home cooked like the schnitzel, the mashed potatoes. It's like mm -hmm. you know cooking. So that's the key to your heart. Yes. Schnitzel. Well, a man, we're, we're outside, you know, battling the enemy and bringing the food home. So <laughs> when we get home, when we get home, I didn't we know I meal. was in the episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> that's right. I thought I lived on the beach. You're I'm slaying water. dragons, that's Boris. What I do that's all what day. you do all day for my yes. family. For so when I get home, does. I need a sandwich or something. <laughs> He needs, he, no, you don't need a sandwich. You're tired of sandwiches. No more sandwiches. He needs a meal. He's I need like, a real meal. No, no protein shakes. She promised. It was, it was an our vow. She promised to feed me every day. Really? Yes. You got to keep that promise. Take me back to the day when you first laid eyes on one another. Was April, it love at first sight, lust at first sight? Was it a combination of both? It was April 19th, 2000. Wow. Table read, Soul Food, first episode. Really? Yeah. So what yeah. went through your mind when you saw her other than wow? I, it was wow, wow. And then it was also, she was super sweet and loving and open and, and welcoming. And, and I, she was just beautiful inside out. And you know how when you first meet a person, they have a different face. Is that right? Of what? course, you meet them, you have a, a certain snobby, face. Though. And then slowly as you get, you get to know them better, their face changes because you see them differently. Wow. And, um, and that's what happened. We were best friends on the show. We, we worked together. We didn't want to be a cliche. And after two years of working together, we figured out, okay, everybody's like, hello. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we started making it official. So when you saw him for the first time, what went through your mind, Miss Nicole? Um, right after, damn. Right after that. <laughs> right after, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, a, I was a classically trained actress who yeah. got her first big break on a one-hour drama centered Yummy. around an <laughs> African-American family. And they got me a model to play my boyfriend, Ooh. you know. He was and beneath you. Discrimination yes. all over again. <laughs> so, but like he said, you know, I got to know him and he, he could string sentences together. Mm -hmm. I found out he was smart. I found out he was funny. I found out he was passionate about things that are going on in the world. I felt, I just, he was everything. Did the German accent help? Um, <laughs> was there a little It was definitely there, that's yeah. for sure. It, it was, you hit her with a guten tag and she <laughs> was like, <"Ooh." laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Funny you should mention. <laughs> no, well, he couldn't say English words and it, he was supposed to be like a regular brother who worked for the, for FedEx. Oh, really? And uh -huh. so he was saying things like, are you comfortable? <laughs> and they were like, cut. 
<laughs> I was like, it's comfortable. He's like, no, it's comfortable. <laughs> I'm like, no, you I just put that on purpose. So you would teach me. Oh. No, she's right. It was terrible. And, and I used to come. I used to come to her for help. Really? Yeah. She would read the script out to me, and she would teach me certain words. And because it wasn't just how English. much help did you really need, and how uh, much of that was you trying to get no. closer to her? It was. It was pretty bad. Yeah. No, it was like he was like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like playing a brother that worked at FedEx, but Arnold was trapped inside of him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No. Watch season one. And then his lines, after they realized that he was still working on his accent, his lines, his monologues got shorter and shorter. Oh. Otherwise, it'd be like, hello, I want to say just <laughs> oh, sign, come on. sign the bad. paper. Really? Would you like to go eat? All right, next question. Cut. I said, no, you'd be like, how about we go get something to eat? Like, just, just eat, just say it. Like, he, it, it was Put like. some swag yeah, on it. Like yeah, like I had swag. You had swag? Swag's not American. You had German swag. Swag's universal. Yes, that's right. You had swag. Right. You yeah. had we swag. invented swag, okay? <laughs> swag. No. We invented that. No, he did. <laughs> invented. He, he killed it. What he got I it. I thought I heard okay, it. Okay, okay. Invented. 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 I know how to okay, say it. Okay, let's save you from yourself. So no, how did awesome. you know that he was the one? And then how did you know that she was the one? Well, we talked about this before, you know, when you're on a one hour drama, right. you're with someone for 14 hours. Right. So he it's saw when the eyebrows needed tweezing, the bathrobe, there was nothing cute going on from five in the morning till five at night, you know? And- I don't, you, you wake up stunning. Thank you. The two of you, what's it like at home? Do you just look at one another and you're like, you're, That's you're all hot, we do. you're beautiful, yes. you're hot, you're beautiful. No. That's all you do. That's look at each do. other now and no. let me see. You're so hot. I look at him. <laughs> You know what though, and I, I'm not even kidding, mm -hmm. okay? But looks are important, but what's inside is way more important. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, they are. No, I believe oh. that. The, it's 50-50. No, listen, <laughs> to be a good parent, to take care of your kids and right. be a partner in this life, mm -hmm. you have to have some substance. That's true. Oh. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and mm -hmm. I see this man and I'm like, where did you come from? Yeah. He doesn't even have morning breath. Okay, and is that wow. bad? Didn't your mom always say, don't brag I wake about up at your three man? in the morning and I brush and I go back to sleep. <laughs> Aww, but he's, little he's everything it you matters. think. He, everything you think. That is the But at the that, same time. That's the quote of the interview. He doesn't even have morning breath. <laughs> 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 but we disagree on everything. Clearly, I've got my own views. I'm black from Baltimore, American, mm -hmm. female, the wife, the mother, and he's German and Ghanaian and you know, has a whole different look outlook on healthcare and yeah. po politics, and we we go at it. I Who mean, wears the pants in the family? There's one pair. Who wears them? I wear the pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the king of the castle, but I make her believe she wears the pants. Okay. <laughs> Is That's that right? No, I'm so clear who is the king of the castle. She I'm a lot. She acts like she wears the pants sometimes. I'm a big personality. And I gotta regulate a little bit. And you I'm know. a leader. <laughs> She's a leader. She's However, a leader. However, yeah, absolutely. Yes. He, from the very beginning, I knew that I had boundaries. But as a as a woman, as a black woman, I had to, I had to see what was not serving the relationship. Mm -hmm. The mouth doesn't always serve the relationship. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? The attitude, mm -hmm. the way you fight. I had to learn how to fight fair. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are things that I was willing to do, which really is the secret of a marriage. Like, really? So what were the new rules that you had to figure out to make your marriage work? Well, well female empowerment and independence and all that is great, it's right. awesome. But I think that uh, in the last 50 years, we've moved away from a lot of these traditional values that have actually served to uphold not only a household, but also a community. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's raising kids or, or a home cooked meal or whatever. And it's sort of gotten lost in a shuffle. So now families don't even eat together anymore. That's true. So right from the beginning, we agreed on, on those basic values and principles. Like he we has wanted- to take out the trash. I don't do trash. <laughs> yeah, I do the trash. Okay, okay but I, she, I'll do laundry. She prepares a meal. Okay. Um, and and we, we have dinner together every night with too. the kids. Is that right? We all have dinner together. You know, no cell phones, no none of that. The kids don't have cell phones. They have no devices or nothing. You're like the Obamas. <laughs> yeah. No pressure. That's exactly how we are. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we call Sophie Malia. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a little dog. Name but, Bo. <laughs> but it, it's, it's true. It's very important to uphold some of these values That's in true. order to, to create a, a, it's like a base, baseline for these kids. 
that they grew up on mm -hmm. with a sense of uh, self, confidence, um, feeling comfortable with who they are, and all that contributes to that. So we, uh, from the get-go, we were very adamant about instilling some of these values and principles in our but kids. No Trust and believe, it's not perfect, okay? But there's still it looks, perfect. it looks pretty perfect. It's pretty perfect. It looks no. pretty, yes, perfect. pretty perfect. No, I mix it up. I, I, keep it, I keep everybody on their toes. Oh, she definitely does. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> How does she keep you on your toes, Boris? Well, just she changes her mind every three and a no. half seconds. No, about. when the child loses the ballet shoes. You sound like Bill Cosby. When the <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> because every mother out there, I was telling somebody on the plane, and another woman in her 60s overheard me talking about this moment, and she said, my daughter just got married, had a daughter, and it said the same thing to her daughter, and I, ca I can't believe you were talking about this. Your child needs new ballet shoes, and they're special regulation shoes. So you yes. got to drive to the special uh, yeah, store. Of course. You get the ballet shoes. Yes. The, you write the name, the elastic, you get the ribbon sewn right. on, mm -hmm. their size. The child goes to ballet class, comes home, where are the ballet shoes? Where are the ballet shoes? Where are they? You don't understand that, Boris? Listen and wait a minute, wait Listen. a minute, wait a minute. You don't minute. understand that? Wait. Huh, Boris? I the comprehend, recital. I don't understand. The recital <laughs> the frustration is tomorrow, about it. and it's now 8 o'clock at night. I can't oh. even run. Target does not have There's these shoes. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. And why? he's the cool cucumber. There's nothing you can do. Why well, that's why it works, because you, you balance I have each other fit, out. Because I think this is a learning moment about oh. money, <laughs> about respecting your things, about uh, uh, focus. Uh -huh. I keep telling her their brains are not completely developed yet. That's a good point too. So curb your expectation when it comes to the kids. No. You so have to tell them everything a hundred thousand times. From your show? <laughs> because the brain is not fully developed. So yeah. of course, when you talk to them, you have to repeat it fifty times. Yeah. Unless I don't you want to repeat it fifty times. Did your mother repeat times. herself? No. Oh, she did until she gave me that look, and then I knew. Right. No. My I mama get and it well, That's what triggers a no. fight or flight in your brain, and that's when you listen. My mama and daddy said it once. Uh -huh. I don't know how they said it. Oh my God. No. What? We can call her right now. That's not what you're doing. I have a quick question. Get her on Say the you two get into an argument the night before and you have to be on air together. Oh, that's what easy. What happens on television? That's Do easy. You act your way through that episode? Well, again, we yeah. grew up on soul food. Right. Our relationship was formed on soul food. So we understand Our what it means. This thing yeah. is good. Yeah. Absolutely. And so you could have beef the night before. Next you day. Well, you gotta, we gotta eat the beef. You gotta getting, get rid of the beef, the beef. right? We, yeah. You can't go to it. sleep beefing. Uh, okay. That doesn't That's work. That's the rule. Okay. No, you, you Very can. good at making up. You got it. Oh. Uh -huh. I, I saw that. Yeah. came out kind of funny. Okay. Right? No. Yeah, no, but I. <laughs> He's not here. But, so. Sorry about that. Yeah, girl. No, but he. He's taught me that. I don't. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has taught me how to not hold ha hold on to stuff and. Because we had we would have an argument when we first started dating and she would throw a pillow and walk out. A and pillow. I'd be like, Where are you going? I don't know. If, I I don't know if we should do a talk show because you're going to tell everything. You're going to just let it all out. The pillow is. Pretty and hard. that's exactly <laughs> why we're going to be watching you two. Thank you so much for being thank here. I cannot wait to tune in. <laughs> Favorite couple. Congrats Yay! Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.